Hi, I'm Hannah Millman, Executive Editorial Director for Crafts and Holiday at Martha Stewart Living on the Media. We are so lucky. We have the coolest, coolest guests ever, Natasha Case and Freya Estrell from Cool House Ice Cream. How are you guys doing? Doing great. So excited to be here. Awesome. We are Feeling so great. excited to, for you guys to come here. Now, this is a Los Angeles-founded company. I think 2008 you started. And it's so amazing that both of you have partners who started this amazing ice cream sandwich company. And you can find their ice cream sandwiches at Whole Foods across the country. And they have just done an amazing book called Cool House Ice Cream Book. So you started <laughs> making ice cream sandwiches, and now they're inspired by architect names. So how did that begin? It was more about kind of the, the names, at bringing the awareness and bringing the architecture side. So... We had like the minimalism, double chocolate cookie and dirty mint chip ice cream, <laughs> Richard Meyer lemon spelled, uh, you know, after the architect Richard Meyer, but using Meyer lemons um, with uh, ginger molasses cookies, the Frank Berry, which is snickerdoodle and strawberry. <laughs> um, it's funny. I have to remember the architect's real name sometimes because I'm so used to saying their ice cream name. So in this book, what are, in the, the book you have, how many recipes do you have in here? We have about a hundred. A hundred different recipes. And what's your favorite? <laughs> My favorite? I really like the Guinness chip. And what is that? So Ooh, that sounds really good. <laughs> plain base ice cream, and then you spike the ice cream with Guinness. There's a little bit of coffee that goes in there, brings out a lot of the stout, stouty notes of the Guinness. Pinch of salt, um, and then you swirl in uh, semi-sweet chips at the end. It is just such a good recipe, one of my favorites. So with Fourth of July coming up, what are your favorites? Are you doing anything special? Any kind of ice creams, or do you come up with a special flavor? Or what do you think suggest people should make for? Ooh, I think we have there the the blueberry cobbler mm. ice cream that. Yeah. I would go in that direction. Like, why have pie a la mode when you can just have it in an ice cream? <laughs> <laughs> that sounds great. I love the cherry cheesecake ice cream. That oh, sounds that, really oh. good. If you had the blueberry and the cherry cheesecake, you'd have the red, red white, and blue. And blue. Boom. Boom. There we are. <laughs> we have that recipe on our website right now, too. We have um, Sarah in Georgia. Hi, Sarah. My question is, I have just your regular one-of-the-mill ice cream maker, and is that suitable for doing these types of ice creams? First of all, I'm so happy you just said that because Freya and Natasha brought a Cuisinite ice cream maker to give away, and you're getting it. Woo! Woo! <laughs> yes, you're getting it. Uh, from, oh from Cool House Ice Cream and the relationship with Cuisinart, if you hold on the phone at the end of this, we will they will ship you a Cuisinart ice cream maker. Yeah. <laughs> so thank you so much for sharing your ice cream and all your stories, and good luck with everything, and thanks for being here. Thanks, Hannah. Thanks so much for having us.